if the government started looking at applications for the foreign worker program by region, it could make things a little bit easier. The students have the chance to survey this crime scene and learn skills such as fingerprint identification, observation technique, and handwriting analysis. The ideal amount of snow is 18 inches throughout the whole area. This machine behind me here pumps out at least one foot of snow per acre per 24 hour period. After reports of the program being canceled, some residents believe the TFW program would not be missed. However, businesses say this is a myth and the Lakeland needs it badly. Children that come and use the preschool program also learn about different ways to calm down after a day of playing. It took Downey 14 days to travel 260 kilometers with the group to the South Pole, but this time he had a different enemy, Mother Nature and her harsh winds with high altitudes. At first glance, it may look like a hair salon, but hidden away in the back is a section only for men. The room comes complete with an old school barber chair where men can come and get a hot shave and take a step back in time. I make my own pre-shave oil here in my store and then we use uh, the old techniques from the books, you know, from back in 1939 type books and then uh, with the straight blades and the old school razors and stuff like that. Taking a look around the room you will see anything from old bayonets, ammo boxes and even empty shells to capture the feeling of when in time this shave was most popular. Uh, well it's, it's an experience, it's relaxing it's uh, it's a good way to end a hard week, you know. Uh, it's a good way to take advantage of some leave. Um, it's just a really, uh, it's almost renewing, is what I'd call it. The business started in 2011, and Senior says his clients have come from as far as Fort McMurray for the experience. It's just really catching. Men really want to care about themselves because uh, most salons are unisex. They'll take men and women, and they say they can do these they aren't really tailoring to one specific community when you're doing that. The shave and cut looked so good, yours truly decided to sit back and take the plunge. The crew barber and stylist shop offers a lot more than your haircuts and your close shaves. Here we have massage, a registered massage level two, RMT level two. We have aesthetics, we have nails. He says people feel intimidated at first, but they warm up to it. I have a lot of people come in and they're very scared of it the first time around, but those people, they're the most scared and the most standoff about another man touching their face, so those actually become my best clients. <laughs> in Cold Lake, Fraser Snowden, New Cap News. Boot up. The program was put on hold to investigate claims it was being abused. However, Bob Buckle, who owns an original Joe's franchise in Cold Lake, says the back of their house would not run without it. As it stands right now, I can go months, uh, literally months, without an application for the kitchen. The last one we had was December, and we hired that girl. She's still with us today. Uh, before that, I couldn't tell you when the, when the other local resident uh, application would have come in before that. His restaurant has eight foreign service workers in the kitchen, including 24-year-old Michael from the Philippines. He moved here four years ago and says opportunities in Canada are important for people from there. Uh, we we earn we earn less less than like like uh, below minimum wage there a day. And in Canada, it is uh, the money to be earned here is more sufficient for us to provide um, a better life for our families. Buckle says if the government started looking at applications for the foreign worker program by region, it could make things a little bit easier. I, I struggle to understand why in high unemployment areas or regions, whether we're talking West Coast, East Coast, Central Canada, why are they even being allowed to participate in the temporary foreign worker program in their specific area or regions if there's not a low enough uh, unemployment rate? Nachos. Buckle adds that in the long term, this could have a huge impact on the growth and development of the area. Uh, you know, I know I'm looking at uh, expanding into a nearby community, into the Bonneville. Um, if I didn't have access to labor pool for my kitchen staff, uh, you know, it's it's it, it, it's you'd have to you'd have to weigh heavily as to whether or not there's the means and the ability to actually uh, actually grow there. In Cold Lake, Fraser Snowden, New Cap News. Back on his cell phone, he's just turning up there now. He might not be able to get to him. I'll try to get it.
With distracted driving becoming as dangerous as drinking and driving, police are trying to find different ways to tackle it. One initiative, the police sit in an unmarked vehicle and radio ahead when they see something. We just want to get the uh, message out that this won't be uh, tolerated and we're going to use creative ways to catch people uh, driving while distracted so they may not always see a police car or a policeman in uniform. Just take off this uh, registration for me. This man was caught using his cell phone during the traffic stop. Yeah, he didn't it. want to be shown on camera, but understands why they are doing it. Oh, it's definitely a good thing. There's, I mean, lots of accidents every year from distracted driving, texting and talking on the phone. So it's definitely a good thing that they're trying to crack down on it a bit. Operations like this, of course, attract some attention and cause people to alert others on social media. The RCMP says either way, it's letting people know they are watching you. It may work in our favor. We may not get the results, the statistics or the uh, tickets that we, we want, but if we can prevent people from uh, making these violations, I mean, and making the road safer, that's, that's the ultimate goal at the end of the day anyway. A bunch of traffic coming here, so heads up. Another covert option they use is working within construction sites along the highway. In Cold Lake, Fraser Snowden, Newcap News.